Welcome back to A Taste of K. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make this sliced pork rib using Carolina style barbecue sauce. The ingredients I'll be using is sliced pork ribs. I'll clean it with salt, vinegar, as well as lime. To season the meat, I'll use yellow mustard, lime, kicking chicken seasoning, ground cloves, salt, parsley flakes, jalapeno pepper, or any pepper of your choice, as well as Carolina style barbecue sauce. The pork ribs that I'll be using has been sliced across the bone. I'll remove the fat as well as the membrane. I will also cut the pork rib in half. In this clip here, you'll see where I remove the membrane. I'll clean each piece of rib with salt, lime, as well as vinegar. Then I'll allow it to sit in the citrus marinade for about five minutes. After I'll pour hot boiling water and allow it to sit in this for about five to 10 minutes before rinsing under cold water, then I'll move on to the next step. The pork rib has been cleaned, rinsed, and drained. I'll go ahead and add some mustard. I'll add the juice of one lime, parsley flakes, as well as ground cloves.
I add the kick and chicken, salt, and I slice the jalapeno. I stir it until the pork is completely covered with the seasoning. Then I add a little more of the kicking chicken seasoning mix. I allow this to marinate for one to two hours in the fridge. Always keep in mind, the longer you allow the meat to marinate, the more flavorful it will be. I preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I line a bacon sheet with aluminum foil, then I have two separate sheets of aluminum foil. I'll add the pork rib, then I'll close the foil almost like an envelope to seal the ribs in. I place the ribs in the oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees and I allow it to cook for one hour. After the ribs have been cooking in the oven for one hour, they have started to fall off the bone. I'll remove them from this packet seal that I had and place it on the bacon sheet that has been lined with aluminum foil and apply the barbecue sauce.
I apply the Carolina style barbecue style to one side of the rib. I'll place it in the oven under the broil setting for a few minutes. Then I'll remove the ribs, flip it to the other side and repeat the same process. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.